simply not a requirement. Yes, ultra runners use salt on their runs or else they cramp and crash and burn and die of, you know, but Grant doesn't. hyponatremia. Why do ultra marathon runners absolutely tout salt so heavily, knowing full well that if they don't use it, they will crash and burn. They have done it a few times. Now they use salt for every ultra 500 mile run that they do. Why do they promote salt so, so you just can't do it without salt? Because they eat it. Because they want to eat salt? I don't know. They're not eating. Not because they want to eat salt. <coughs> no, not because they believe. Why do they have to have salt? They're losing a lot and they're not eating. But other ultramarathon runners don't they're use salt. See that last part again? They are eating. Why do, why do they have to use salt? Why are they correct that they have to use salt? Because they're losing so much water. There's plenty of ultramarathon runners that don't use salt. Mm -hmm. Why do the guys who promote salt, why are they correct that they have to have salt? Because they're all uh, lost from too well? Why? Because they eat so much salt. Because they eat salt in their regular life. Mm -hmm. If you eat salt in your regular life, you have to eat salt when you go do an ultra. <laughs> what did you say to me the other day about the shoes or the shirt? About the shirt or the what's the rule? No, no. The rule is you don't wear anything new. Don't wear anything or, new. Don't try don't anything try new. Don't try the new food day. program on race day. I mean, like, oh yeah. And they're crash and burn, yeah. and they'll have a they'll have a failure in that competition, no question. Mm -hmm. But there are plenty of people who do not consume salt in their regular life, mm -hmm. who do who do s who do outstanding ultra marathons without considering even considering. Like it's not even a thought <coughs> to use salt, but they have to because they're. Accustomed, they're accommodated to. They, they can't do it without. Right. They're hooked. If you're going to push it to the ultra marathon hundred in Thailand at, uh, on wow. the hottest day of the year and the highest humidity, the, the 250 mile no one survives run. I would want to go months without salt before I tried that event without salt. Mm -hmm. But I would never consider using salt for a, some of the things we did. We just like go all day. Does Grant ever take anything with him just in case or has he been? There is no just in case. He never takes salt. salt. He never takes salt of any kind. And what would we expect to happen to somebody who had been used to eating some salt and then and then stopped? He came, came here and stopped eating salt. What would happen to them? They'd lose that puffiness in the water. We lose the puffiness. Sweat. What else? Sweating. Sweating. What else? Weight. What happened to their weight? Decrease with the water loss. Have you lost weight since you got here? Nope. Yeah. You got to blood on your Decrease. I felt it. Decrease with the water loss. Because the salt, salt is crazy hydrophilic. Holds a ton of water. Um, it binds water. Why does it do that? Because it's toxic. I mean... It's a buffer? What? It's not a buffer. Buff buffer's not, the water's not a buffer for the... It's toxic. How toxic is it? Well, we discovered you need one ounce. Of salt to a, kill yourself? A mere ounce of salt is enough to kill you. What happens if you eat sodium chloride? Well, let's say you're stuck out at sea. You were taking a little boat ride <laughs> with some friends and Oops. the boat accidentally went down and you got stuck in a life raft and you're out at sea like the life of Pi, you're out there having this good time. But you get a little thirsty. The life of Pi? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a, that? a good movie. movie. Yeah. 
It was a good With movie. The tiger. I was thinking about that for a long time. After. So at some point you get Ooh, thirsty enough, and there's there's an old saying: water, water everywhere. What's the other half of the saying? You know. Water, water everywhere. Anybody know the other half of that saying? <laughs> but nothing, none to drink. But not a drop to drink. Yeah. Doesn't even rhyme. Why do they say that, Thomas? Ocean water, you can't drink it because it's sodium chloride will dehydrate you and kill you. NaCl. That's it. NaCl. They stand for equal <laughs> rights and goodwill to men. Of course. And they're doing a special this month where they're doing a fundraising drive for the freezing fruit in Chicago. <laughs> there you go, Frederick.